everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my time to shine deck. So have a really positive week. Let's get right on with your readings. So Cancer or Moon Child, as some people refer to it. Let's see what the cards are bringing you for this week, the week of the 22nd of August. Your first card from the mini messages deck is from the balance suit. And the card is one of kindness. And it says support, help and accept yourself. So this is asking you to do just that. Be kind to yourself this week. No room for self-criticism. No room for self-doubt. Support yourself. Help yourself. Be proud of who you are. And just make sure that there's some self-care involved this week and you're putting yourself at the front of the queue where that is concerned. So let's see what the teacup tarot brings for you this week. We've got the queen of wands, the nine of wands, four of pencils, seven of pencils, part 20 reflection, and the 10 of pencils. So your overall energy here is the queen of wands. Now, she epitomizes self-assurance, confidence, and an I can do it attitude. The Queen of Wands brings with her a lovely energy of being able to manifest exactly what you need, exactly when you need it. And that's just what she's doing on the card here, look. With just one movement of the wand, she's got a pot of tea, a cup of tea, and a cake, just like that. She knows how to do that. And she is also willing to share this information and this wisdom with other people. So this could be you helping other people manifest, achieve the things that they want, going after the goals that they've been hoping to achieve. Or it could be somebody coming in to help you do exactly that. She knows how to get where she wants to be. She knows how to achieve her goals. And this wisdom is here and it's available to you this week. Your help or your hurdle, the nine of wands comes in and says, keep going. Stay motivated, stay determined. Just like the angels on the card, look, they're climbing the tree. This little angel's almost at the top because she's got that I can do it attitude. It's very much an echo of this message here for this card. So have some self-confidence, keep going, stay determined, don't give up. Your guidance as well this week, we have the four of pencils. And this card says, just remember to take some time out for yourself. Just remember to have a rest. Pause, take some time out. We're talking about that here when you're looking after yourself and here it is again. Sometimes when we think we take time out and nothing is happening, in fact, everything is happening because you're giving that space, you're clearing the mind of all the busy clutter and in that space of calm and rest, this is where your inspiration can find you. And this is where your answers can find you. So just be mindful this week, just to factor into your week, time for rest and relaxation. How can we help ourselves? The seven of pencils comes in and reminds you it's time to focus on your needs and your plans. These are the ways forward which will open the path for you. It's time to leave behind the old ways. Learn from them. 
take all your wisdom from them, all your knowledge from them, and now put those pearls of wisdom into new plans, focusing on your needs and your new way forward. So some lovely mindfulness there. Remembering you don't have to please everybody else all of the time. It's really important to focus on you and where you want to go as well. Pulling it all together, the reflection card is another card of resting and pausing and reflecting and realising just how far you've come, just how well you've done. It's a time to reflect on everything you've learned, all your life experiences. And just as importantly with this card, our lovely angel here has her sights set on this sign which says climb to new heights she's starting to formulate the next new adventure she's realizing how far she's come and now she's working out a plan on where she wants to go it follows on beautifully from this card the seven of pencils both of these cards have signposts on them on the next way forward the next adventure and climbing to a new level and beautifully your outcome card the ten of pencils says expect the situation to improve things are looking up things are looking better here she is climbing the ladder of success and with every step she takes up the ladder things start to improve look better and so much better so a real positive push of energy is here for you Let's just summarise. Yes, you can do it. You've got everything you need. You can manifest and you can attain the goals and the wishes and dreams that you wish to follow. Keep going. Don't give up. And remember to have a break. Take that time out. Support yourself and help yourself. And focus on your needs now. Time to focus on your plans, start to get ready to move in a new direction, taking all your life experience and your pearls of wisdom with you. Start to plan that new adventure and take those steps. Start to climb that ladder of success as things get better and better for you. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. The Two of Wisdom says, time to pause, wait, think things through and decide what you would like to do. Very much here. We're talking about your plans now and your needs. So just take that time out, like we said here, and make sure that the dreams and the goals and the things that you're going to be moving towards are what you really, really would like to do for yourself. The four of life says it's time to make careful and balanced decisions. Consider situations of too much or too little. So this could be work-life balance. Make sure you, we were saying about putting rest and relaxation into the timetable this week. This is also about finances. Are you spending too much? Do you need to save a little bit more? Get the balance in the finances in good order this week. And it's also a card which reminds you about your time and your energy. Are you giving too much of that away and not receiving and taking time for yourself to rest and replenish? So just be mindful of all those things this week and get a really good balance between them all. And the three of emotion comes in saying it's time for celebration, expect good news, social invitations, time for you to have fun, time for celebration, for moving on, for climbing the ladder and starting your next new adventure. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, please click that subscribe button, make the bell ring and then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.